about time I do some real Christmas music, some classics. So here is I'll Be Home for Christmas. It's a nice simplified version. Here goes. I'll be home for Christmas. So let's do it. Let's have at it. I'll try to do as much as I can, and the rest of it will be on our website. Here are the left-hand chords. Let's take care of these first. If you have the left-hand chords in your pocket, uh, your ear naturally gravitates towards the melody. So you'll be focusing all your attention on the melody as you perform it, and you want to have the left hand more or less, you know, second nature. So best to deal with it first. Here we go. This is our first chord. Five, three, and one. For the full bar. Four beats. Next bar, the bottom two fall to E flat and G flat. C stays put. Full bar, four beats. Moving on, next bar is another fall. These two again fall to D and F for the full four beats. Next bar, the thumb finally falls to B. The bottom two stay put. Here's your first phrase. So, bottom two fall, bottom two fall, top falls. It's a bit of voice leading, you know. Moving on to the next uh, line, or the next bar, rather. We start the same way we started the beginning of the piece for the full bar. Now the thumb rises to C sharp. Make sure you uh, scoot your hand up the key so you don't have to twist to catch that C sharp. You know, just move your hand up across the keys so you can reach that C sharp. For the full bar. Next we get four and two. Next bar. Four, three, and one. That's that phrase. So one more time to recap the last four bars. Thumb rises. Four, two are already in place. Just press them down. And then four, three, and one. Moving on. Use your fourth finger to pivot here because the fourth finger will again play an F and we have five, four, and two. All right, so you're coming from this chord to this chord. And you can see they have a, an F. They share a common F. Use that as a pivot. Four beats. Again, the full bar is this chord. Moving on to the next bar, we have the four is still there. So again, you can pivot from here, pivot across to this. Four, two, one, A flat for the full bar. Moving on. This familiar chord is the, uh, the chord we started the piece with. And now the middle note moves up to A, but the other notes stay put. So again, to recap, the last four bars we have five, four, two, pivot on four, four, two, one, back to the beginning chord, and then the middle note moves up. And there you have it. Moving on to the next line, the next phrase, rather. One, two, three, F sharp. Now this middle note leaves and is replaced by a D, but the F sharp and C stay put for the next line. 
right? So we had one, two, three. The A is replaced by a D. Again, both of these are for the full bar, four beats each. Moving on to the next bar, the three falls to a four on F natural. Although, if you want to play it with a three, I'm not against that either. And the next, the final chord of these four bars is this. Five, three, two, and one. So to recap the last four chords, the four bars are one, two, three. Two is replaced by five on D. Middle note falls. You can play with three or four there. And the final chord, G dominant seven in second inversion. All right, that's enough, right? So make sure you learn these really well. You don't want to think about them when you play. You just want them to be there in your hands. So. left-hand chords. Each one of them is a, ha is a whole note, so it takes up the full four bars, or excuse me, the full four beats. And here we go with the right hand. Let's do it alone. Four. Let's do the notes first, and then we'll take care of the rhythm. Four on C. B. D. Then back to C. Thumb on G. And then another G, but replace it with your second finger. And hold that for a while. The reason for that replacement is that the next note is a three on A. We want that. So, three. Down to G with the two. B flat with your four. And A with your three. And then thumb on D. So again, take a moment and learn these notes. Come back for the rhythm. This is the rhythm. I'll count it out loud. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The last note is for two bars. Here's your first major phrase, the theme, really. Now, when you play it together, uh, the hands align on every downbeat, on every one. So here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Four. One, two, three, four. Not bad. So far, so good. And the pedaling changes every bar. So everywhere where the left hand changes a chord, you can change your pedaling as well. Moving on, we have... Right hand. We know the left already. So let's do the right hand. Just the notes, then they're counting. One, two, four on G. Then we fall down to F. Now it's your first finger on E. Second finger on G. And a five. Moving on. 
three on B, D, with your five, another five, and three, another three, a second finger, an A. Hold that for a while, and then resolve to a G with your thumb. So again, take a moment, learn those notes, and here's how you count it. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Cool, 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 cool. Both hands. Here we go. Again, the left hand is uh, plays a chord at the start of every bar, right? So wherever there's a one, when you say one, that means there should be a new left hand being played. Here we go. One, two. Sorry, one. into the next section but i'll do that on our website cool all right thanks for watching uh, feel free to subscribe if you feel i've earned it leave me a comment uh it's a really nice piece and this should be a very straight ahead rendition of it so let me know what you think all right i'll see you guys later take care